So for the dollar index, it looks like we're approaching resistance. Uh, the 50 moving average is coming to the previous swing high. So with that in mind, you know, it's, it is also the risk off trade, purchasing of the dollar at around 79. And we're going back to 80, maybe up to 80.40. That's where I have the resistance. Okay. So we do have a bit left in the move. We might take another day, consolidate this price, then, then make a move up, hit that resistance. If it turns into price failure, then I'd be looking for this consolidated zone from 78, 60 to 80 to bounce back and forth. And we don't have a huge clue in direction in the dollar, except that you know the move back up to resistance will push the indexes down. It will push the S&P 500 down. It will push the Russell, the NASDAQ. All of them will be pushed down. And it's, it's a very good target. The 50 moving average is coming to that resistance. We also had you know, the golden cross, which was the 50 and the 200. The 50 crossing the 200 moving average looks for a continuation to the downside here, which was good for equities. The dollar loses its value, equities go up. And that's why oil's getting killed too right now is because the dollar is gaining some strength I mean, at, at this at this support. It gained strength, it moved back up, and so that's why we're seeing oil broke 90, it's down at what, 88, straight and yeah. So that's the that's what we're seeing in the marketplace. So this isn't a huge tell because we're in such a consolidated zone, you know, where our range has been decreasing. We do have a lower high on the on the dollar right now. So we could look for another extension down, which would be down to about 76.50. You know, if we hit resistance here and the dollar moves down to 76.50, then maybe we will see that 15.40 in the uh, S&P 500. You know, that's what I would be looking for. That turquoise moving average yeah. is the 500 moving average. 500, okay. Yeah. Just a longer term moving average, moving slowly. And to see who's in control. You know, if it did come back up to the 82 level, 8250 level, sure. we'd have a head and shoulders. Again. Again. So if that happened, we'd, if it got up to 8250, we might see around 1240, 1280 on the S&P 500 and then the rally. And you've, you know, there's some bigger questions here. Does the market want to show Obama that having so much debt is not good? You know, are the bankers going to go against him? What can, well, you know, what what can the bankers do though? Really, they can just short. I mean, they've got. They've got huge positions. You know, bankers can use their full potential, their credit lines, in the marketplace. The Fed can come out and put a squeeze on them, can't they? It's true, they They've can. Done They've done that before. It's true, they can. <laughs> 